So in terms of this notion that uh, using our memory shapes our memory or that retrieving uh, is much more than just um, uh, evidence that this exists in your memory, there are many other implications. You, many years ago, uh, early in my career, I wrote a chapter with the title, Retrieval as a Memory Modifier. And the notion is basically, at that time, that rather than retrieval being a readout of the system, like the way you might play something off a, a compact disc or play it out of a computer and just leave it the way it was, that retrieval altered the system. So as I retrieve something, uh, it becomes more accessible, stronger, more recallable in the future. And one of the sort of unfortunate things more broadly in education is that uh, testing has come to be think, thought of in its assessment sense. That, I, uh, in fact, some, to some audiences that I talk to, testing is such a kind of bad word that I will talk about something like retrieval practice instead. But tests in induce people to retrieve from memory and that act of retrieving does more than just provide evidence that that information is in there. It makes it more recallable in the future. The other thing that why testing and the retrieval that gets triggered by testing is so important is that it is much more diagnostic of whether you've learned something. So a student who's trying to sp know how to spend the last few hours before a midterm exam or something, to the extent they try to make judgments by looking at the material, looking at their notes, looking at the textbook, those judgments will be very flawed. Once it, it relates to ideas like hindsight bias. Once you have read this passage, your judgment about whether you would have been able to produce that information is just very flawed. Whereas if you were together with another student, and you are quizzing each other, you will get good information about whether you've learned this or not. So tests are sort of more diagnostic than is studying about what you've learned and what you have not learned. And so that is yet another sort of pedagogical advantage. And then a thing we've investigated quite a bit recently is when you're tested, your subsequent study gets much improved. So if you've tested yourself or quizzed yourself or got together with another student to ask each other questions, now when you study the material, you become much more effective. So tests potentiate subsequent study. And it's, it's just too bad that they've come to be thought of in this uh, mode of assessment because sort of what you might think of as low stake testing and quizzing, uh, whether you initiate it yourself, whether it's just part of uh, clicker questions in the classroom, whether uh, it's a part of an instructor just asking questions, those are very important from the standpoint of long-term learning. And uh, really testing, quizzing ought to be taken advantage of in its pedagogical pedagogical sense. It, you know, it's, it's hard to avoid it as assessment, but there should be lots of low-stake uh, uh, quizzing uh, initiated by yourself as a learner, part of a course, and uh, uh, there's lots of excitement about the educational implications about testing as a learning event uh, right now, and uh, articles in the public media and uh, interest in uh, among educators.